Hi there, today we're going to take a look at how to do cleaning cycles on an Epson XP8700. Now these cleaning cycles are a great way of dislodging congealed ink that may be on your printer's print head and improving print quality. So starting from the home screen of the printer, we're going to drag this along until maintenance is exposed. Press to go into that. And here we have a couple of cleaning options. We have the normal print head cleaning, which I'd recommend doing a couple times as your first port of call. If after doing a few of these cleans, giving it time to settle, and you still don't notice an improvement in print quality, power cleaning is worth considering, but it's more intense on the hardware, uses up more ink, but is a, a good way of dislodging anything that's a little bit more stubborn. I'm just gonna go into the normal print head cleaning. Obviously you need paper in there for the start. Let me give it just a minute. And once the cleaning is complete, your printer will automatically spit out one of these pages, which break down the six colors used by your printer, showing its ability to print them. As you can see here, there's a bit of an issue with the magenta, there's some lines missing there, so we need some more cleans to pull that through. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the obvious next step would be to continue with a couple of those cleans and move on to the power cleaning if you really struggle. Luckily, the printer presents us with this page, asking us to indicate which result we have the closest to. With the gaps on the magenta, I'm gonna press on this one, and then persevere with the, with the standard clean again. Now it's important to remember that these cleans do use up a certain amount of ink within the cartridges, so you should only really do these cleans if you really, really need them. So you can carry on doing cleans and test pages in this way till you notice an improvement in your print quality. If you have a stubborn issue where the nozzle check is looking okay, but your actual prints still have a bit of fuzzing or some weird marks on there. I would recommend taking yourself back to the maintenance menu we mentioned earlier and taking a look at either the print head alignment if you've got a uh, fuzzy looking prints or lines coming down your prints or paper guide cleaning which is recommended for like smears and stuff down your page. I won't do a separate video on that one because it's, it's nice and simple just follow the prompts on screen. But that's all there is to see here I hope this has resolved the issue you were having. If it has, please do let me know with a like. If there's anything else we can help with, drop it down in the comments. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.